So how do you turn on the navigation button on your iPhone? Let's get started. So you should know that officially there is no such thing as a navigation button, but I re probably know what you mean by that. So what you probably mean is the assistive touch button, which uh, you can find inside of the settings. So again, open up the settings app, go to accessibility and then find the touch section. So it's right here, part of the physical and motor section. So you get in there and assistive touch is right there at the top. So for me, it is already turned on. And when I did enable it, you can see this kind of floating button has appeared on the screen. And right now, this is likely the thing that you wanted to have. It's called assistive touch, but you might also refer it as the navigation button because you can click it and some things are going to happen. For example, I set it up to essentially just return back to the home screen, but you can choose it to be anything you want, right? So you choose what happens when you click on a or single tap it, right? So the single tap can be chosen for a bunch of different things. If you have it to open the menu, you can then customize what the menu is. So for me, it's just one thing. It's just the home, right? The home button, but you can add a bunch of different toggles. Like for example, you might add the camera there, or you might, I don't know, have the device control. So I'm going to show it to you in just a second, right? And I'm also going to add one more thing, which is going to be, for example, the mute switch. So right now, if I located the navigation button or the assistive touch, I can click on it and these four things are going to appear. So I can click on device and it gives me the option to lock the screen or move the volume up or down or whatever else is available in here. Like, I don't know, like restart the phone or whatever. But if you want to, you can also just have it to mute the iPhone and other stuff in here. So as you can see, this is how you can customize the whole thing. You can even choose what happens when you double tap it or even long press it. So plenty of different things. It might take a while for you to go through it and figure out what you want this to, to be used for. But yeah, that's going to be about it. Let me know below in the comments if you have any additional questions. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you later in the future tutorials.